This is Richard Selby from the Correct Group. In this video we'll be using RealWorks version 8.02 to register some scans together using a groups methodology. So at this stage six scans have been imported into a project. Uh, these particular scans have been imported from a Faro Focus 3D or Trimble TX5 scanner using the file import FLS files operation. Uh, so we're in the registration module and the first task is to set the status of the scans to force leveled which I've done for the first three and I'm now going to do for the remaining three. So that's done by picking the scan, going to the registration menu, modify station and force leveled. And repeat that for the remaining scans. Okay, they're all done. So now I'm going to pick the three scans which I'm going to use to form the first group of scans. So the scans will be registered together and placed in a group separate from the other scans in the project. You know, the registration menu and as this these scans contain targets I'm going to use the auto extract targets and register method to register them together. Now scan 000 is central to the other two scans so I'm going to leave that as the reference station and hit OK so this might just take a minute or two as the targets are automatically extracted and the preview scans generated. Okay, so the registration has completed and the registration details summary is displayed. So we can see the residual error for the fit between the targets in the corresponding scans based on a least squares adjustment methodology. So here we can see a target in scan 000 named 8. So it's been given a corresponding target ID also of 008. And if we look down the corresponding target list, we should find at least one other 008 in another of the scans, which we do in this case, scan 001. So we can say that these two targets have been matched together between the two scans. Again we can see a target with ID 7 which has also been given a corresponding target ID of 7 and here it crops up again in scan 001 and also in scan 002. So this scan is used three times within the registration process. Okay, so the residuals look good and normally I would use the analyze button to 
check each of the targets in each of the scans. Okay, so without exhaustively checking each and every one, we'll assume that those are all good. So I'll press adjust, the adjustment is done, and press group. And yes, I want to apply the changes. So now a new folder has been created in the project entitled New Group. I'm just going to rename that and call it 000 to 002. So the scans within this group folder are now registered together. If I browse into that folder by double clicking, I can see the scans which are inside it. And I can return to the parent folder by using the up button here. So there are three scans in this registered group and three currently unregistered scans. And if we look at the data in the 3D view window and I choose to shade by station colour Turn on in the view all the scans. Okay, you can see that some of the scans are fitting together, but there are other scans which aren't fitting together with the others and they're sort of all lying one on top of the other over here so I'm going to perform another registration uh, this time using the currently unregistered scans so I'm picking those only going to the registration menu again and auto extract targets and register and the reference station will be three this time the one that's central between the three scans so again this may just take a minute or two for the targets to be extracted and the scan previews to be generated Okay, so here we have the target residual display for the scans 003 to 005 and the residuals look good. So I'm going to close up that table. I'm not going to analyze all of the targets as I know with this particular data set that they will have matched well together. I'm going to press the group button again and yes I do want to apply the changes so now I have a second group of scans 
which I'm going to rename 003 to 005. So currently the scans within each group are registered together but the groups as a whole aren't registered together. So the final step in this particular example is to register together the two separate groups of scans. So to do that I'm going to pick both group folders, go to the registration menu and pick a method to register them together. And This time I'm going to use the target based registration tool. So when you're registering groups as with scans you need to make sure that there are at least three targets which are coincident to both groups. It doesn't matter whether those targets are physical targets in the forms of spheres or checkerboards or whether they're point targets that have been created manually perhaps using the target analyzer tool. As long as before you start the target based registration tool those three coincident targets to both groups are already created and placed. So I'm going to go to the target based registration tool next. The two groups are then co-registered together and a new target residual table is displayed and as you can see this now contains information covering all the scans from both of the groups. That looks fine, so I'll close that up. Hit apply. Close the function dialog and now I can see immediately that the two groups of scans have been co-registered together and display perhaps using a grayscale you can see that a bit more clearly let's choose a, a top view so there we are the six scans have been registered together the first three scans were registered within one group the second three scans were registered in a second group and then the final step was to register the two groups of scans together and that could only be done because there were three targets at least three targets common to both groups and that's the end of the video and the process.